Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from work, power and energy. Let's identify first of all what is given in the problem. The problem is like this. There is a uniform chain of length L and mass M on a smooth horizontal table with 1 by nth of its length is hanging from the edge of the table. Let us try identify what he has given in the problem. There is a table. On this table there is a chain. A portion of the chain is hanging. 1 by nth of the chain having length L. So what is hanging is L by nth. A remaining part of the chain is on the table itself. Now we need to calculate what is the work or what is the kinetic energy of the chain when it is completely slips off from the table or about to slip off from the table. So from this case 1 it is shifting to a case 2. What is that case 2 diagram is the table is same but the chain is like this it is about to slip only the last buckle of the chain is in contact with the table. In this case what is the kinetic energy or what is the work done is. I would like to calculate solve this problem by measuring kinetic energy is nothing but work done. Work done is nothing but the change in the potential energy because energy is conserved. There is no loss of energy. So I will take this surface of the table as a reference point and I will start solving the problem. So in the first case there is some potential energy, potential energy initial. The part of the chain on the table won't have any potential energy because I have treated that as a reference. Only the remaining part, the hanging part is having a potential energy. So potential energy is nothing but equal to potential energy of the chain that is on the table not having any potential energy. Potential energy of the hanging part. E of the hanging part. Now potential energy of the hanging part is mass but not of entire mass. Mass of the hanging part G and H. H means I cannot count this as H because the mass is not at the bottom rather the mass is distributed over the chain mass is distributed. So where is the mass appears to be concentrated is at a point called something like center of mass or a uniform body center of mass will be at the half of the middle. So what is the hanging part is L by N and center of mass is at the middle of it 1 by 2. How can I calculate the mass of the hanging part? Total mass by total length that will give you mass per unit length. Then multiply with the length of the chain that is hanging. What is the length of the chain that is hanging is nothing but equal to L by M. G H is nothing but its center of mass location L by 2 L. So one L can be cancelled. So your answer is nothing but equal to mg L by 2n square that is initial potential energy of the system. Similarly now I have to calculate the final potential energy of the system. In the case 2 potential energy is again potential energy of the chain on the table but there is no chain at all on the table and the potential energy of hanging part. What is the potential energy of the hanging part? Mass of the hanging part. Mass of the hanging part. G and H. Where I have to write H of the center of mass. Why? Because mass is not at the bottom rather mass is distributed over the entire chain. How can I get the mass of the hanging part? Actually total mass because entire chain is hanging or even you can say mass per unit length multiplied by the length of the chain hanging. 
their entire chain is hanging only the last part of the chain is just in contact with the table g h is actually l entire l but center of mass is at the middle l by 2 so the new potential energy of the system is 1 l can be gets cancelled mg l divided by 2 we want to calculate the work done work done is nothing but change in kinetic energy that is nothing but change in potential energy therefore potential energy final minus potential energy initial potential energy final is mg l by 2 potential energy initial is mg l by 2 m square where n is the length of the hanging part so if i have taken mg l by 2 as common 1 minus 1 by m square is the work done in this case that's it that's how we need to solve the problem thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you